All right, everyone, welcome back to the Mood of Anatomy. Today we have Charlie. Charlie, thank you so much for making some time for us, man. Thank you for reaching out, by the way. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. So tell us, man, what do you drive? I drive a 2001 Honda S2000. Honda S2000, man. I don't know why. I, I always say every time I see this car, I don't know why Honda stepped away from them. But that's a whole different story for a whole different day. Before we begin this amazing uh, build that you have here, man, how did you even get started into cars? Like, where did that bug start for you? <sighs> God, this was so long ago. Um, my first car I bought was a, a 91 uh, EF sedan. Ooh. And uh, I actually, it was, just luck of, it was just luck of the draw, like fate. I, I, I went to go purchase the vehicle. Well, I'm sorry, I went to go look up the vehicles. I searched online. This is back in the day. Uh, I had to go to the library to get for ah, internet. Yeah. <laughs> and I printed out all of the, the listings that, that, that I saw available. And uh, by Sorry, were you looking at the recycler or was it the yellow book or which what, what was it? God, this was uh, like Auto Trader, Recycler, any website that I could find at the time. <laughs> that's uh, cool. And uh, this, this was like 05. Oh, and, that's cool. Um, of all the cars that I looked up, the, the, the only one that was still available was the, the EF sedan. And it was in manual and I couldn't drive manual mm -hmm. but my my mom drove manual all my life she had a you know a ton of bugs and my uncle and my my grandmother they all drove manual so I was able to pick it up and then my uncle drove it back for me and then the next day uh, I just sat around the neighborhood and just practicing yeah yeah uh, getting out of first gear and everything for about three or four hours and then of course I burned the clutch later that day nice <laughs> uh, but what what really got me into the cars was because I, I picked the manual transmission. Uh, my brother, uh, he's uh, Cambodian. Uh, and if anybody knows Cambodian uh, people, like, they're really into cars. It's like it's like, kind of like their culture. Uh -huh. And uh, so he got me into it. I would visit my, my Cambodian cousins in like Long Beach and uh, like over the on, the on the weekends. And then we just started getting into cars. I started modding it little bit by little bit and um, realized that that was the wrong build to, <laughs> to <What>? mod. <laughs> it, it really, it really kind of like hindered what, what I wanted to do with uh -huh. cars. Uh, at the time, what I really wanted was, uh, I wanted a DA9. Oh, and okay. I ended up getting two of those and all, all of my cars have been manual. So I got, I got two DA9s, a black one, 91, and then I got a, a, like a champagne color, like 92. Uh, I crashed the 91, but the 92 uh, is the one when I really, really learned how to like modify uh, gotcha. cars. I was putting everything in there. You know, I had a carbon fiber hood. I had, uh, I think I had Rota slip uh, wheels. Slip rims, okay. Um, had those on the car. I had, you know, sound system, everything. Uh, uh, C pillar, you know, lower strut, tie bars on all those things. And uh, somebody stole the car. Oh, that's a, that's a shame. Yeah, somebody stole the car. Um, I, I got it back, but it was in really, really bad shape. Um, and oh, the whole time that I've been working on the cars, the, the car that I really, really, really wanted was the S2000. Mm. And at the time, the S2000 was still being, you know, still being sold at retail until 09. Um, <laughs> Long uh, days ago. Right, yeah. So what happened is um, I ended up having to move out to uh, um, uh, my own apartment. And uh, I had the Integra back, you know, I uh, got it out of the, the yard and got it running and everything, but it just wasn't the same. Mm -hmm. they, they had stolen so many things. Uh, so I, I got a loan from the credit union to uh, buy a car and I thought about it. I said, if I'm going to, you know, spend money on the car that I want, I might as well. Might as well the one that I want. Yeah. Uh, this was the, the, the only one that I could afford at the time. Uh, I got it for about 10, 10, five. Nice. Uh, Dude, we wish we could get them for 10, five nowadays. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, out the door with taxes, it was like 11, six. At the time you were like, man, yeah. I'm overpaying for this car. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, other good condition S2000s at the time were like 15, 16 K. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I got this one uh, out the door for 11.6 with taxes, and it was in really bad shape. It, it was okay, okay uh, when I got it, but it, it, it ended up being in really, really bad shape mm. over, over the, the course of five years uh, paying off the car. And um, the, the original soft top that was on it was in really, really bad. Gone, pretty it was much. A disarray. Yeah, it, was, it was too soft. <laughs> yeah, it, it was. It, I, I definitely can say I have the worst soft top in, 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 in the history. Oh, in you should have kept it. Of, you should have kept it. <laughs> for sure. Uh, I got that swapped out. I had a new soft top on it at least, but uh, a lot of things on the car was, was in really bad shape. The original paint, uh, new formula red, had faded already. Um, uh, the, the, the motor when I bought the car had been burning oil. I was about to ask you, mechanically, was yeah, it reliable? It was, it, it, the, for, for the most part, the, the engine mm. was fine, except the, time, the timing chain tensioner, if, if you know about S2000s, they do go out. 
Uh, so that, that was something they needed to replace and then the, um, the, the, the oil burning. It, it was the, uh, the piston rings had uh, a lot of carbon buildup. Mm. Uh, so all I had to do was just keep oil in it. But I put so much oil. <laughs> <laughs> you did oil changes every other week. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. After about a thousand miles of a new uh, oil change, oil will be gone. Oh, uh, man. So I, I got the rebuild done in 2017. Unfortunately, um, I had a, a, a small fender bender, uh, the, the front bumper cracked from, a, from an accident. And the fenders when I got the car was uh, a little bit of like bacon on the, on the side. Mm -hmm, toast. Uh, so I needed a whole new front end. Uh, a friend of mine uh, who had an S2000, luckily he had uh, bought a spoon conversion. Uh, oh, so, so he, he had sold, to spare. Yeah, so he sold me his two fenders and front bumper for 150. Oh and God, that's a good friend right there. I can't, I can't beat that. You no. know, the only thing was my car was red and the front end was silver. Yeah, who cares? Right. 150. <laughs> uh, so for about a year of me uh, kind of get the car back together, mm -hmm. I, I was saving up for paint. Uh, I was multicolored, faded, you know. So you were at 240 for a while. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I, I had faded paint. I had multi, uh, mismatched colors. Uh, I was getting, uh, I was replacing some of my parts with carbon. Uh, and, but the carbon was faded. I knew I was going to get that all resprayed once I got the car painted. Uh, but for a while, uh, my friends were making fun of me uh, in, the, in like the, the, the group chats. They were saying something like, uh, bro, you're out here looking like 50 shades of S2K. And, oh, that's where the Instagram comes from. Stuck. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. OK, stuck, yeah. so we'll get started, man. Tell us about, about the front end. What do you have going on, man? Well, on the front end, uh, it's, it's, I have an AP1. Uh, my front end is AP2. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for my friends, uh, you know, fenders and bumper. Uh, I have a carbon fiber hood. Um, the only thing that's not carbon on the exterior is the front lip. It's like my third lip. Um, I don't know if I want to get a carbon fiber lip. Because if LA. you crack it, it hurts? Yeah. I'm sh <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do you want to dream of? <laughs> of dealing with that. Um, uh, just, yeah, headlights, OEM. Uh, like I said, I had those re-cleared with tents. Um, and then, um, yeah. Okay. And what uh, hood uh, company is it? Honestly. You don't know? I don't know. Okay. I, I ended up picking up, uh, just by luck, I ended up going to a, like a meet and somebody sold me the hood and trunk for 400 bucks. So you go to the meet and you're just like, oh, let's just take it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he, he, you know, he, he told me about it. I picked it up the next day. And oh, they, okay. they, were in, they were in really bad shape. In really bad shape, just needed to be uh, sanded down and cleared. Yeah, but decent price for four hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. Man, that's awesome, man. And then tell us about um, what color did you end up respraying it? Uh, so the the, the respray is championship white. Mm. Uh, I know how people can get when they want to re paint their car. They want to go with all these you know fantastic colors with glitter mm -hmm. and gold freaking sparkles or something like that. I just wanted to keep the car OEM. Simple. Uh, yeah, yeah. A friend of mine just you know he. he talk to me and it's like if you're going to repaint the car why don't you just paint it the car the color that you really want uh so yeah this is nh-0 that's, that's it white. that's yeah. it that's, that's the, the go-to one yeah but i kept the inside of the car still no new formula right okay so, so you did it on purpose to match the interior yeah nice okay awesome and then um tell us about your suspension setup what do you have going on uh god i've had these for years i have a uh, megan street uh, coilovers, adjustable coilovers. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? No. Yeah. It's been working? It works just fine, yeah. yeah. Uh, any other suspension goodies? Uh, suspension wise, no. It's an S1000, it doesn't need it, right? Like that's a, that's a beautiful thing about these cars, man. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah. And then the side skirts, the splitter? Okay, so my side splitters were custom. A friend of mine uh, who actually re-cleared the, uh, the, 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 the clear coat, uh, he made those a while back, he gave them to me. Uh, he also has a couple of S2Ks himself. Um, yeah, the, the hard top is from Forbidden. Uh, mm -hmm. The uh, rear wing is JDP, all carbon. And then I also have a, a Jace Racing uh, diffuser in the back. Nice. Give it a nice little aggressive look in the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then speaking of aggressive. Yeah. You, you, you know, you guys, people that watch the channel know how much I love the RPF ones. Tell us about your wheel and tire setup. What do you have going on? Yeah, I have a 17 by 9 plus 45 offset uh, RPF ones. That is the the standard like uh, fitment for an S2000. You don't want to go any 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 lower or higher. It's a perfect setup. 
Uh, and then for the tires, I just got those recently. These are uh, Federal uh, RSRRs. These are 255.40, uh, squared. <sighs> Everything squared up. Love it. God, I love the setup, man. Yeah. Looks so aggressive. The rear, so you got the J's. Mm -hmm. Exhausted up setup. What do you have going on? Uh, this is the UK mod. So a uh, UK mod is an uh, OEM exhaust with a modification. Uh, so I, I was telling you earlier uh, how the UK mod works is um, the 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 S two thousand exhaust has what's called a twin loop. So the the, the main pipe goes into the, the 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 can for the exhaust, but then it comes back out uh, on its way out uh, to to uh, expose the air. The UK mod, you just weld those pipes together, and you get what's called like a like a unequal length headers type of rumble. Uh, you combine that with a uh, test pipe or a high flow cat, and you got yourself a a Subaru. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not expensive. Like it looks, it sounds good, yeah. and it's OEM. So yeah, yeah I, I definitely like it, man. And then you said, what was the name of the rear trunk? Uh, the hood and trunk, I don't know the brand. Okay. Because uh, I picked them up from someone. Uh, the rear spoiler is JDP. The spoiler, the spoiler, yeah, sorry. There's a duck bill. Uh, it, it uses the, uh, the, the stock uh, third brake light. Uh, and then I uh, have the Jace Racing uh, rear diffuser in the back. Yeah, Jace Racing definitely looks aggressive. Yeah. Hello, what do we got going inside the interior, man? Okay, so interior wise, I got a set of uh, bright seats. These are um, low max. Uh, I got the uh, four point Sparco harnesses. I have a 280 millimeter uh, Momo steering wheel with the uh, short hub and the quick release. I also have the lock for thieves because uh, that's how they stole my Integra. Freaking thieves. Yeah, just throw the lock on there and you're, you're good to go. Um, I have a uh, uh, glow in the dark shift knob. I don't know, I don't know the brand. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I have a nice little uh, phone holder. It mounts to the, to the seat, seat bracket. And, uh, oh yeah, I also have the, the four point cage. Uh, it's a hard dog. Hard dog, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. What are the future plans for the interior? <sighs> I don't know. I don't, I don't think I have anything else. Uh, oh, I do have, um, it's broken right now. I have a, a light bar that goes across the, the roll bars. Mm -hmm. go, so at night, the, the interior behind me uh, illuminates red. Oh, but nice. I just have to get another one. Something happened with the, the light. It just kind of like shattered. But other than that, you're keeping it like this. Are you getting it more, or is this good enough for you? Yeah, I think this is it. <laughs> you don't need a dash. <laughs> Just strip everything. Why not? Well, I, like I told you earlier, I have some mechanical issues with uh, the wiring for the, the window. So I have to get that fixed. But other than, other than that, that is, yeah, I mean, S2000s have amazing interiors. It's a great car. So you did a K-swap, right? No. <laughs> I'm not in that tax bracket. <laughs> the tax bracket. So All right. OEM, I just have a uh, air intake. Um, I had a couple other mods before, but I got state refed. Uh, Did you? Yeah, I got state refed. I had it. It's my, my, my third version of my exhaust. So I <laughs> um, had the fog light wiring set up. And yeah, that's pretty much it. What are the future plans for the engine compartment? Uh, I've been thinking about supercharger, maybe in a couple years. Mm. Maybe uh, I would go with Craftworks, but I'm still undecided on that. Man, one thing about superchargers and S2000s is just it gets squiggly in the back, man. They do. It's 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 hard to maintain the power down. They're great chargers and stuff, but it it, it just it's difficult. But uh, other than uh, you said it was eating oil when you first got it, uh, once that got resolved, has it been reliable? Yes. Yeah, uh, I got it, uh, the motor rebuilt in uh, 2017. And yeah, the car's been absolutely amazing since then. I don't have any issues uh, with the motor. Um, yeah, I have to change the timing tensioner. Uh, I should have got the, 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 the lifetime warranty one from, I don't know if it's Ballet or um, some other company. But mm -hmm. once I get that fixed, it should be good. Okay. And everything else you're like really, really content with. Yeah. Nice little piece here. Where, do you know where that's from? Uh, I got it online. I don't, remember, I don't remember the brand. Okay. But yeah, man. Hi, right, Charlie. Well, thank you so much for making time for us, man. I really, really like this S2000s. It goes to show you that they don't really need much, man. Um, a couple of suspension mods, a couple, you know, body panels, and the power is already there as it is. So it's, it's a very fun car to, to drive and to experience. Um, any shout outs, man? 
Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to the, the shop that's pretty much worked on the car mostly. Uh, my friend's shop in El Monte, uh, TNL Auto. Right around the corner from them is an actual S2K garage called uh, Pit Garage. Uh, they're really good. Um, I want to give a shout out to my, 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 my friend uh, Bay Mao in Long Beach. Uh, he's the one that helped me restore some of the, 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 the clear coat on my, on my stuff. And uh, oh, uh, give a shout out to SFAM on, uh, on Instagram. They, they, do, they host uh, S2000 meets on Sundays. Oh, yeah. awesome. Cool, man. Well, again, man, thanks for reaching out. I, I, we love Honda S2000s um, just in their pure form. They're amazing cars. Uh, and like I said, you add a little bit of wheels, a little bit of suspension, a little bit of panels, and all of a sudden it looks even more aggressive, which that's pretty much, you know, the whole point. Um, keep the car on the road, man. Can't wait to see what you do in the, in, in the future. Maybe the Charger comes along, that'd be pretty cool. But if not, enjoy it for what it is, and hopefully you can get it to the track very soon.